Hey guys, Austin once again from the Planetary Gamers with another Cold and Dark startup video in X-Plane 11. And today I'm going to be showing you the Cessna 172 Skyhawk. But before we do that, just want to say if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, be sure to click that subscribe button. It just really helps the channel grow. And you can also follow us on Twitter at PlanetaryGamer1, where you can keep up to date with what we're doing and where you can suggest games for us to play for you guys. So uh, the link to that will be in the description. So, without uh, any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So we'll click New Flight, make sure our Cessna is selected, make sure it's uh, the checkbox is not checked that says Start with Engines Running. We'll click Customize, because I want to start somewhere else this time. And we're actually not going to be starting at a gate, but we'll go ahead and start at BizJet. Well, you know what, let's go BizJet 2. I want to be on the outside. Or inside, however you want to look at it. So, uh, we'll do real time, real weather, and uh, yep, so we'll go ahead and click start flight. Now, if you haven't seen the previous two videos of how to start up a 737 and 747, I will also link those in the description so you can watch those as well. Uh, they both have some very good information in there. So, uh, we'll just go ahead and pause here and uh, until the screen loads, and then we'll come back, and hopefully we'll uh, be flying on out of here. Alright, so here we are in our Cessna, and we are at the BizJet. Uh, I wouldn't really call this a... Uh, I wouldn't really call this a gate. It's more like a, a hangar or a parking spot. Yeah, a parking spot. That's what I'm going with. So, uh, looks good from the outside. We're going to go ahead on the inside. First thing we're going to do is get this yoke out of the way, because mostly what we're going to be dealing with is all back here, and I don't want to have to deal with all that. So, uh, first thing we're going to do, actually, we're going to temporarily bring our yoke back and uh, do our flight controls. So, forward, backwards, all that looks good. We'll go ahead and do our rudders as well, which those look fine. All right, so here we go. First thing we're gonna do is turn on the master battery, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn on the fuel pump, as well as put our fuel mixture all the way forward, which means it's rich, which means it's sending fuel to the engine. And we'll let that go for just a few more seconds, just to make sure it really gets in there. We'll turn on our beacon, let everybody know we're uh, we're firing up the uh, the propeller. Turn our avionics bus one and two on. And uh, all right, so we'll come over here to the key. We'll go to the right magneto, left both, and I'll try to get this in the same shot just so we can see when our engine starts up. So from here we're going to click and hold until the engine starts. Alright, and we are good to go. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so basically, a couple of housekeeping rules is you want to make sure your trim is set to take off, which it is, it's indicated by that line right there. Uh, your brakes are set, which they are, and uh, as well as your fuel flow, which is right there. And that was actually down here before we started it up. So oil pressure and temperature all looks good. Uh, temperature is only down here because we haven't really done anything yet. Uh, so that looks fine. And uh, make sure everything else is looking good which it is so uh you know what since this is a little bit of a uh a little bit of a shorter video we're gonna go ahead and taxi out to uh one of the runways right over here so we're actually going to be taxiing over to uh three six left which is the closest one and it's where we're closest to so we'll go ahead and uh start heading that way now we won't be talking to ATC or anything. This is just a little extra since it's such a short video. But uh, we'll go ahead and turn on our taxi lights, navigation, strobes, as well as our landing lights. So, 
Uh, one thing to remember about the Cessna is that it's a single prop, so you'll have the uh, the waiver that it is to either the left or right because there is that little bit of pull with a single prop engine. Uh, that doesn't happen so much in the uh, aircraft such as like the King Air or the uh, Beach Beach Baron uh, 58 because they are uh, dual engine. So they kind of balance each other out. So, uh, do we have anybody else out here with us? Uh, oh yeah, we do. All right. So, uh, we'll go ahead and use our rudders. We'll, we'll take our brake off first. And then we'll just go ahead and do a slow taxi. Because it can get a little out of control if you're not careful especially with the uh with the propeller thing i just mentioned Let's see even even now it's getting a little getting a little crazy so we'll slow down just a little bit and i'm not firewalling the uh propeller either i'm like i was maybe a quarter speed right there so it doesn't take a whole lot <laughs> so just got to be careful of that because if you do your rudders to either side and you're going at a high rate of speed you will actually Tokyo drift and spin out of control uh, so nobody wants that especially if this is a rental <laughs> but it looks like we got a uh, United 7-4 over there getting ready to take off it looks like he's holding short so we'll see if we can try to catch up to him All right, looks like he's moving again. Now I'm just using the uh, buttons on my joystick. I don't have actual rudder pedals. I know Brandon does, and he uses them quite frequently. Uh, and they're very, they're very good. I'm surprised at how well they actually work for these. So uh, we'll go ahead and slow down just a little bit because this is our turn right up here. Too far. Add a little bit of brake <laughs> and see how even just that little bit of brake almost sent us <laughs> where we didn't want to go. Alright, let's stop here just short of the hold short line. And, uh, yeah, so, actually, ooh, I want to watch this 7-4 take off. This is going to be awesome. All right, so, uh, basically, that's how to taxi using your rudders and how to start up the engine. So let's just sit back and watch the view. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh my goodness. All right. And positive rate gear up. He's about a 10 to 15 degree climb right there. All right. Who knows where he's going, but that was awesome. And see, there's something so cool about just looking outside the window and seeing a plane just perfectly taking off like that. So, alright guys, if you liked the video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Do all of the good things. And uh, if it helped you, then uh, let us know down in the comments. So, until then, we'll see you next time.